I think one thing is clear as we sit here and we look at this crazy, volatile, yet boring Bitcoin chart is that we all would love to see Bitcoin just take off, blast off. I mean, we're in crypto and we just enjoy parabolic gains. I think we can mostly agree on that. But in this video, I want to talk about concerns that I have, that those parabolic gains aren't here yet, and they're not going to be here for a while. And not only that, I have some concerns about where we are, the bear market. Not so much a concern, but something very much on my radar right now. So here's Bitcoin right now on the daily chart. And here's Bitcoin. I want to take a quick look at history. This is something we've been discussing on these Bitcoin charts. This is Bitcoin all the way back here in 2015 bear market low. This is Bitcoin revisiting this green rectangle, a huge Fibonacci area. And then we have the last bear market. You can see visiting an, an, an identical Fibonacci retracement on the macro, this green area. Each time, actually, Bitcoin falling below this yellow line, the 786. If you've been watching my channel for years, this is an area on the Bitcoin charts that for me defines bear markets. It defines bear market bottoms. It helps me in my accumulation of crypto as a whole. And so here we are right now, if you look at the Bitcoin chart, Bitcoin in the middle of the green rectangle, kind of towards the bottom, towards the yellow line, the 786 line on this macro chart. So the thing that is very much on my radar is, is this. It's Bitcoin right now in this move to the downside on the shorter term that you see here. And it's this previous swing low. So right now, Bitcoin's putting in potentially a higher low or the concern that's not happening. And the reason I'm watching that is if you look at the last bear market, and we can see Bitcoin bottoming out in the last bear market, 26% below the 786 line of that Fibonacci channel. Up here is the 618 line, the top of the channel. So 26% or so below the 786 Bitcoin bottoms. Now, when it did that, you can just see Bitcoin was also doing something else. On the, on the weekly chart here, you can see Bitcoin after it bottomed, saw a nice little move to the upside, back to the 786 line, and then actually retraced back down to put in a higher low on this weekly chart. And you can see it was a higher low, and that was Bitcoin ultimately exiting the bear market from that higher low area. Now, if we go to Bitcoin now on this chart, here's the concern. Here's what's on my radar. That is Bitcoin right now in a very similar move. We've made the move to the downside in the middle of this bear market, swing low to this swing high that Bitcoin has seen. And you can see Bitcoin on this weekly chart. Let me zoom in for you a little bit. On this weekly chart, Bitcoin putting in, trying to, a higher low and getting very, very close as I do this video. Ultimately, right now, as I do the video, Bitcoin trading below this higher low Fibonacci that Bitcoin saw support in the last cycle. So there's still five days, one hour of this weekly chart of this weekly candle left. So it, a lot can happen in five days. Bitcoin could fall and actually test the 786 and then bounce and actually close this candle above this shorter term Fibonacci, right, in the support range. Bitcoin tomorrow could wake up and just start moving up. Tonight, it could happen and start moving up. And, and we do trade above the 786. Bitcoin could trade just below the 786, but still put in a higher low from this previous swing low here on June. But th the concern is that Bitcoin is not in that bottoming out formation. It's not in that bottoming out phase, I should say yet, where meaning it capitulated, that was as low as it's going, like 2018, it's putting in a higher low, and we're going to exit the bear market. That's what's on my radar. The fact that that's potentially not in play. The one thing that has not happened yet in this bear market is trading below the 786 line down here, right above $17,000. Now you can see to the downside, this is kind of my worst case scenario, a 35% dip below the 786, bringing Bitcoin to around $11,000. What that 35% area is, is it's Bitcoin trading below the 786, which it's done in these previous bear market lows. Here's back in 2018, trading 26% below the 786. But then here is 2015, I go all the way back, trading below the 786 by around 47%. So what I did was, uh, in anticipating a worst case scenario, I, I took kind of the average and I just set it at 35%, $11,000 trading below the 786 line. 
This gives room for equity markets to continue falling. This gives room for the Fed to continue releasing fearful news to the world, right? This gives room for everything that we have going on right now in all of the markets. It gives room for Bitcoin to see further downside. From where Bitcoin is right now, I mean, we'd be looking at around a 40% dip to the downside from where Bitcoin is right now. I started the video saying it would be nice just to sit here and see gains and watch a rally, but it's like, if we're not there and we're in the middle of a bear market, why not just anticipate downside? Why not just prepare mentally for something like that? We can obviously enjoy gains when they come, if there's a rally, we can do that. But right now, the data is so clear on the screen when you just zoom out. Is, is this chart that we're looking at, is it not just so clean and so consistent? Is the possibility for downside just, it couldn't be any more clear. And I think a lot of you agree with that. So while it might not happen, it's best to prepare for that. One thing to note on this weekly chart is this as well. Bitcoin in just such a similar setup as back in 2018 bear market low. You can see Bitcoin hitting almost around the same area on the RSI and then coming up and consolidating right now for a higher low in a very similar way that it did back here in 2018. You got that swing low, consolidating for a higher low, and this was Bitcoin exiting the bear market. Now, here we are in the same exact moment, or I mean, really comes down even to this week. Uh, and we have CPI data coming out next week that could play into this story. But here we are, and it's just kind of, is there going to be a repetition where Bitcoin is exiting the bear market? Well, things are different in equity markets. Things are different in the world right now for uh, crypto markets, right? Crypto was not trading in an environment back here that it's trading right now. And so we really should just be wise and just play it cool, kind of slow things down a little bit as we analyze these charts, because that's what I'm doing. Uh, we're, we're obviously in a bear market. We're in the bear market formation, that's for sure. And now is, it's game time. This is where opportunity is. As I do this video, opportunity is here. But it's when we have a, 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 a chart that is saying there could be 40% downside, and that would be normal because it would be normal based on historical data. I think we should pay attention to that. Slow things down. Not try and guess what's going to happen, but prepare. And I just wanted to do that, that video because I, just, I opened up this chart and I saw this higher low in formation, uh, very similar to 2018 bear market low. But things are not the same. Uh, this isn't meant to put fear or be bearish or anything like that. It's just, this is what I do. I'm reading the charts, sharing it with you. It's not financial advice, everybody. It really is for entertainment purposes. Uh, I hope I can provide value in tracking my crypto journey and just tracking how I watch this data. But let me know what you think about where we are in this Bitcoin bear market and how you're making out out there. Hit the like button for me. It means a lot. Subscribe if you're not a subscriber. We'll get through this bear market. Have a good night. I'll see you in the next video. God bless.